Welcome to St Paul's at Home. Tony Hurl here from the Vicarage at St Paul's St Albans. Uh, and this is night prayer on Easter Saturday. This was the period when Jesus rose. We don't know quite when he rose. It would have been the night from six o'clock in Jewish calendar and he rose before the morning. We know early in the morning, it was probably four o'clock in the morning, he was risen by then. And so he's in the tomb and rising. But in this period between his death and resurrection, he we get an indication from Peter, he may have been preaching to those who were under the power of death and liberating those who died before. Uh, we don't fully understand it may be imagery, but the battle has been won. The triumphant cry as he yielded his spirit to God was, it is finished. And the temple curtain was torn on the Friday so that access to the Holy of Holies was achieved. So we can come right into God's presence, although he is still the almighty and holy God. But because we have Christ's righteousness, we're able to come right in. And so in the midst of a turmoil in the world and with future turmoil to come, we can rest a bit like Jesus in the boat secure that our heavenly father watches over us and that Jesus has secured our salvation. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. The creator, able to create such beauty around us. And we know creation struggles and bits of creation get in the wrong places and so we wrestle with disease and weeds and all the rest of it but we come back to the creator who's at work wanting to redeem the world god's kingdom is spreading and the last enemy to be defeated is death but we come in his presence and we ask god to cleanse us from our sin restore in us his glory most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and earth and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we've failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. Say so what you've confessed, receive the forgiveness. We've given our sin to Jesus. He gives us his righteousness. Receive healing from those reactions to sins, perhaps wounds or what's happened or what hasn't happened, which can bind you. Receive healing by his spirit, the restoration of your soul. And then receive more than that, not just healing, but rising to new life, a new authority to minister in his name. Like Peter was restored after he'd betrayed Jesus, to feed God's sheep and to be a leader in the church. So receive healing and be rise up to the new life in Christ that he has for you. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. I thought we'd do another song rather than a psalm, a modern psalm, if you like. And this is amazing grace. Who breaks the power of sin and darkness? Whose love is mighty and so much stronger? The king of glory, the king above all kings. Who shakes the whole earth with holy thunder and leaves us breathless in awe and wonder? The king of glory, the king above all kings. This is amazing grace. This is unfailing love. That you would take my place, that you would bear my cross. You laid down your life that I would be set free. O oh, Jesus, I sing for all that you've done for me. Who brings our chaos back to order? Who makes the orphan 
a son and daughter, the king of glory, the king of glory. Who rules the nations with truth and justice, shines like the sun in all its brilliance, the king of glory, the king above all kings. This is amazing grace. This is unfailing love, that you would take my place, that you would bear my cross. You laid down your life, that I would be set free. O oh, Jesus, I sing for all that you've done for me. Worthy is the lamb who was slain. Worthy is the, lamb, the king who conquered the grave. Worthy is the lamb who was slain. Worthy is the king who conquered the grave. Worthy is the lamb who was slain. Worthy is the king who conquered the grave. Worthy is the lamb who was slain. Worthy, worthy, worthy. This is amazing grace. This is unfailing love that you would take my place, that you would bear my cross. You laid down your life that I would be set free. O oh, Jesus, I sing for all that you've done for me. And we could go on, couldn't we, in a vein of prayer and praise. And it may be good to go to bed saying gratitude for all that Christ has done for you. Think of the heavenly treasures. Think of the privilege of being able to partner in God's work. The way you may have been able to invest in God's kingdom through money, through serving, through your time. Or it may be a time when you haven't and you now you want to add value to the kingdom as a particular aim coming out of these troubles. Our name for Jesus, another of the 50 names, Victorious One. It comes from Revelation chapter 3 verse 21. To the one who is victorious, I will give the right to sit with me on my throne, just as I was victorious and sat down with my father on his throne. So Jesus is saying he is the victorious one, but he's also wanting us to be victorious in life. Now, all of us have got a backstory, and wherever you are, you start from now. So as Paul said, forgetting what's behind, I press on. But God wants you to have a victorious life. And so in this life, much is invested in education so you can get a good job, or in your good job so you can get a nice home, or the kids' education. Lots of sacrifices are made for this life. What about the sacrifices we made for God's well done, the victory? And in heaven, a bit like in today's world, isn't it? Some of the heroes are actually the shelf stackers and the, the cashiers and the nurses who aren't paid huge amounts suddenly become the heroes as they minister so kindly to people who are coughing over them. It, it sort of changes the values of the world. It's important to have money makers. It's wealth creation is a good thing when it's good but what's really valuable and in the end it's God's plumb line that's going to give the eternal value and if we're doing what he wants our life has eternal value and that may be hidden and no one see it it may be the the person loving their spouse it may be the person loving their children it may be caring for those with particular needs it may be doing amazing jobs in the public eye the key is living it for him and being like Daniel, God's man, even if you're in a very high position in a, in a secular empire. But he was God's man. Uh, Nicodemus became God's man. Uh, Gamaliel did. Joseph of Arimathea did. They were part of the world system, but they were God's man in the world system. And then others, Chloe from Herod's household, became a follower of Jesus. So it is, he's victorious. He's more than overcome. His overcoming spreads out to us, but he wants us to be victorious. And so this night, let's ask that God restores us and realigns us and refreshes us. So we work from rest. That's the biblical principle. Sabbath, and we come out of Sabbath to rest, from rest. But we're doing God's work. Be that if you're a slave to someone, Paul used to write, you do it unto the Lord. And God made can make your work more valuable than anything. And heaven's record will see how we've coped with the responsibilities that he's given us. And sometimes life has given us which he blesses. 
so may we be victorious ones. And may we in these days keep going so that we don't, if we started well, we finish well. So into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you've redeemed me, Lord God of truth, I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. In the depths of our isolation, we cry to you, Lord God. Give light to our darkness and bring us out of the prison of our despair through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who's alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. So visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and others and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I love the fact that though Jesus is victorious, actually he's very understanding of our struggles. We have a high priest who understands. So in our weakness, in our depression, in our pain, in our grief, we're to look up and trust in God, trust also in Jesus. But he's with us amidst those sufferings and sorrows and pains and understands. So receive his closeness and we commit into his care all those who are desperate, all those who are grieving, all those who are worried for others or for themselves, all those who are exhausted in caring, all those who are stressed with looking after little ones or elderly people where they haven't got the resources they had, all those with dementia. Father, we pray we th praise you that you know each one and you love each one. We pray that they will turn to you and you would strengthen those around them and that you would bring good out of these difficult times. In peace we lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And so receive the blessing of God, his peace, which passes understanding. So you can focus on what needs to be focused on. The ability to pace your emotions. Jesus did that in the time with the Passover. He was present with his disciples in a way he was very present to the pains of the cross in Gethsemane. May the joy of the Lord be your strength. And may you know the heaven would call the anchor within the veil, holding you strong, winching you up to glory, as it were. And may you know his hold on you as you turn to him. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be with you and remain with you always. Amen.